Uh, now we are multiplying the binomials making by using this distributive property, right? So let us multiply x plus 8 with x minus 5 and then x plus 6 times x minus 6 and we have one more multiplication 3x minus 1 times 4x plus 5. Okay, let us do the first one. How do you do this multiplication? When you are making use distributive property, that is, we have to make sure that every term of the first binomial is multiplied with each and every term of the second binomial. It goes like this, x times x, then the same x should go and multiply with 4x times x, then whatever sign is there, I will put that sign and x times that number 5. After doing our job with that, then you will do with 8, take 8 and multiply everything in the second binomial by 8. Okay, let us see. First it is x times x. I will write x times x. And then x times 5, but there is a minus sign between them. So I will write a minus x times 5. That is all. Take x and multiply those two. Yeah, so your job with x is done. You are done with this x. Then take the next term that is 8 and with this 8 you have to multiply x and again the same 8 will go and multiply with 5. Right? Find that product. So I will take x, I mean 8 times x. It is a plus 8. Plus 8 times x. And there is a minus sign. And what goes next? 8 times 5. 8 times 5. 5 is by itself. Means it is a positive 5. But there is a minus sign. I wrote a minus sign. Right? That's all. We are almost done with this uh, multiplication. You just have to simplify. So make sure that every term is multiplied with everything like x times x, x times 5, again 8 times x and 8 times 5. Over. Now let us see what is the product. x times x gives you x square. x times 5, that is 5x with a minus sign, plus 8 times x, that is 8x, and 8 times 5, that is 40. So, I am seeing two like terms in the middle, right, 5x and 8x. That 5 and 8 you got from there. And I will put them together. You can combine the like terms. Always combine. That is a simplified form. So x square minus 5 plus 8. What is the minus 5 plus 8? Gives you 3. Remove the smaller from the bigger and keep the sign of the bigger number. That is plus 3. So minus 5x plus 8x gives you 3x. From 8x, I'll just take away 5x. That's all. And that is last term is 40, which is the product of this 8 and 5 at the minus sign. Right? That's your answer. x plus 8 times x minus 5 is equal to x square plus 3x minus 40. Further simplification is not possible. Just leave it there. Okay. Now the next one, we have x plus 6 times x minus 6. We are seeing some repetition and let us see what happens. The process is the same. x times x, x times 6. That is x times x. Minus is there. I will write this minus and x times 6. x times 6. Done with x. You are finished with x. Then take 
6. Because you are done with x, then go to the next term. The next term is 6, 6 times x and 6 times 6. And what is the sign here? Plus, plus 6 times x. And there is a minus here. Plus times minus, that is a minus 6 times 6. Okay. So, what happens now? x times x. Okay. You are sure, right? We got this piece. We got it now. x times x, x times 6, 6 times x and 6 times 6. Everything is good. Multiply x times x gives you x square. There is a minus x times 6 minus 6x. There is a plus 6 times x, 6x minus 6 times 6, 30. 6. Alright. Further, this uh, x square 6 and x and 6x. Like here how we have 5x and 8x. They are the like terms. You are simplifying it. Even in this case also, negative 6 and positive 6. Those two are the like terms. 6x and 6x. But one is the opposite of the other. That is one is the additive inverse of the other. Hence, you can cancel them. They cancel out and uh, you get 0 from this. This is gone. I'll cancel off further. Then what is left? Minus 36. That's all. You don't have to get confused or anything because you are seeing what's happening here. And the reason for this is you have something like x plus c, 6 times x minus 6. The repetition of the same thing with the opposite sign. Here adding 6, they are taking away 6. That's why those 6x and 6x got cancelled. Right? You can easily generalize what happens if it was x plus, let me take 8 times x minus 8. Right, you can you can guess what is the answer going to be. Definitely, it is going to be what, like x square minus thirty six, which is six times six. In this case, x times x is x square minus eight times eight, sixty four. That's all. Okay, you got one easy problem. Now going to the third, we have multiplication. But what is the uh, difference from the previous problems. What do you see here? Instead of just x by itself, we have 3x and 4x. That's all right. Let us see. 3x times 4x and again 3x times 5. So, we are going to write 3x times 4x, this is 3x times 4x, plus 3x times 5. Okay. Then, after finishing your job with the 3x, go to 1. This is negative 1 times 4x, and again 1 times the negative 1 times 5. Okay. That is minus 1 times 4x again minus times plus is minus 1 times 5 right 3x times 4x plus 3x times 5 then negative 1 minus 1 times 4x and minus 1 times 5 we did everything right now multiply each term this is single term you get 3x times 4x 3 times 4 is 12 and x times x, x square. So you have 12x square plus 3x times 5. 3 times 5 is 15 and times x is 15x. 15x. 3x times 5 is 15x. Minus 1 times 4x. 1 times 4x is 4x. 1 multiplied with anything will give you that whatever you multiplied. And 1 times 5 is 5. 
So, this 3x times 4x gave you 12x square. 3x times 5, the product is how much? 15x minus 1 times 4x is 4x and 1 times 5 is 5. Again, there are like terms. Let us combine them. 12x square minus 15x minus 4. I'm sorry, plus 15x minus 4x. So from 15 take away 4. We get what? 11x. 15x minus 4x is 11x minus 5. That's all. This is the product of these two binomials. 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 5 is equal to 12x square plus 11x minus 5. And uh, we would like to see the products. Let us study the products for a second. See, this is the answer. For the first problem, x plus 8 times x minus 5 is x square plus 3x minus 40. What is that we are seeing here? This first one, x square is x times x. That's what you have there. And the last term, 8 times negative 5, that is negative 40. So the first is the product of the first two terms of these binomials. And the last term, the constant, is the product of the last terms of the given two factors. That's what is the product, 8 times 5. Now, what about the middle term? The middle term, 3x, 3x is obtained from where? You have this 3x from 8x minus 5x. These two put together gave you 3x, 8 minus 3. That is, this 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3 and x. So, on practicing number of problems, you can directly write out the product or if the product is given to you, you will be able to figure out what are the factors. Like, you will gain so much confidence that, oh my, these are my numbers, let me figure out what are the factors. Or if the factors are given to you, you can figure out what is the product. Similarly, here you see, first terms, x times x, x squared, 6 times 6, 36. Now, plus 6, minus 6, cancelled out. That's why there is no x term. Even in the third case, in this scenario also, you have the same, like 3x times 4x gave you 12x squared. And 1 times 5, that's 5. Oh, that was a negative 1, sorry, this is, 3x minus 1. 3x minus 1 times 4x plus 5. That's why negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Okay, that's what you have. The first term is the product of the first term. Last term is the product of the last terms. And the middle one is, how did you get in this case? It is little tricky, like, 3x times 5, that is 15x, and 1 times 4 is 4x. 15 minus 4 is 11, right? Why I'm talking about all this is, the standard form of a quadratic function f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So it is like a is your 12, b is 11 and c is negative 5. So, the product of those two binomials is nothing but a quadratic function. And if you are asked to find the factors of this quadratic function, you can just go back in that step, each step, just to do it backwards, you will get those factors. Right? So, please try some of these problems. First, I want you to Find the products, learn how to find the products, making use of this distributive property. Once you gain confidence in finding the products, 
then uh, do that backward process and find the factors also if they give you the products like this you can find the factors okay thank you